Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. Timeless and general of tarot reading for you. Um, Sun, Moon and Rising Virgo, welcome to my channel. Coral Tree Tarot here, thank you for stopping by. Um, this is a three card spread with clarifiers and oracles. Let's see what's going on for you Virgo. Sun, Moon and Rising Virgo, what's happening for Virgo? Love. could be your energy or the person that you are asking about. Six of Swords, someone's moving on. Six of Cups, Nine of Swords and um, the Empress. It looks like someone's moving on from a really strong soulmate connection. Um, this is now Someone is really listening to their inner calling. The High Priestess here as the overall energy. Um, I am not really getting secret. I'm actually getting a following on intuition. This has been, you know, a soulmate connection. Um, very likely that you are moving on. This is now. And going into future, um, there is a bit of a stress. Um, I feel over whether that decision was right. Um, there is a lot of mental energy, both sword six and nine. Um, not sure. Having the high priestess here, I'm sort of getting that um, this can this can be you thinking about it or the person that you are inquiring about is thinking about something um high priest is not really keeping it a secret but i'm feeling that this person or you are following their own intuition and gut feeling about the situation but also at this stage keeping it to yourself um still kind of um, deconstructing the situation, the decision in, in your own mind, simply because these are two swords and this stress is making me feel that the reason for the high priestess here, the, the, the energy of secrets or holding this, um, you know, close to your chest and quietly sort of, you could be saying someone is, you know, moving out quietly, right? That is not what I feel. Um, I am feeling that there is a strong mental energy about moving on from a situation. There is a, a lot of stress that this person is going to endure um, and the stress is connected to kind of keeping it inside them, sort of... Uh, mental energy will really stress this person. I just saw the full, it flipped. Now, I am going to clarify the Six of Swords for you, Virgo. Pisces and Aquarius. I'm getting here. Could be Libra or Gemini. We've got Five of Wands flipping. So I feel there has been, you know, f f bickering, fights, conflict, not in smooth sailing. Loose, the, the fool is coming back, so it's a strong energy. Oh, we've got two here. And we have also Eight of Swords and Page of Swords. I feel these are all the reasons why someone is feeling that um, this is the right thing to do. It, 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 it's the right thing to do to consider going, uh, moving on. Perhaps with a page, uh, someone have found out something. This is spying, lurking, checking. Um, obviously making someone feel really um, as if there is nothing else that they can, can do in this situation. This could also be an inner conflict, this Five of Wands, but the first thing that I got is, yes, there was, there has been a conflict uh, between two people, um, and 
the fool is clearly pointing to the energy of taking on a challenge to begin a new new cycle here because the full starts the tarot journey in a tarot this is the card number zero so um Tell me more about the High Priestess. Is it intuition or is it this one to flip? Pisces energy, Page of Cups. I feel this is this is basically the genuine feelings. There you go. The, 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 the genuine feelings ended. The genuine feelings ended. Page of Cups and Ten of Swords. And this uh, may someone feel us you know it's time to consider as much as it's stressful it's time to to really slowly work way out of the situation Yeah, conflicts that really made someone feel um, uneasy, um, stuck in their head, questioning themselves, second guessing, um, and with the full the energy, the, the energy of now I, I can start a new journey here. Nine of Swords. The world. Well, new chapter. This is a strong energy of perhaps breakup. Um, there is a lot of stress here. There is moving on. There is conflict, and there is, um, you know, end of some some genuine emotion here. End of genuine emotion. Um, the world is clarifying nine of swords of course someone is really stressed about how are they going to do it i don't know how are they going to move out how can they you know be uh, now and function without the other etc etc um the world is the energy of ending a cycle this is the last card in tarot we've got the first one and the last there is a new journey unfolding for someone here this could be taurus aquarius scorpio and leo as well that you're dealing could be aries strong pisces aquarius libra gemini virgo <laughs> um i am going to ask a new question for you Virgo I'm going to ask will Virgo meet someone new so this is clearly moving on from something someone is moving on from something right it's stressed about the prospect of doing it which is fairly natural thing um, but this person is following the intuition gut feeling about that there was a end of the genuine love and it's time to move on virgo will virgo meet someone new in the next let's say three months time will virgo meet a new person three months from the beginning of november let's see virgo okay there is a very free spirit energy around you um, Knight of Wands, we've got the Hangman in the Past, Star in the Future, oh, look at that, beautiful, someone's going to be juggling, holding back their feelings, this passion, deciding about, um, the, about that passion, look, there is a very playful around you energy around you this is that inconsistent you know lover boyfriend girlfriend um, this could be also your energy 
perhaps you are ready now to go out and date. You've taken your time with the hangman to have a clarity of the situation that you have been. Um, and, you know, you, 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 you have made your decisions um, about that you basically want a new beginning for yourself. I love the star in the future. I'm going to pull. I'm very curious about this Knight of Wands, but look at the outcome. This is an outcome. The star is in your in the position of the future. There is something incredible coming. So if we ask a question for Virgo, I ask a question for Virgo for you. Um, will Virgo meet someone new in the next three months? The, the answer is yes. This could be Aquarius perhaps Pisces. This could be someone younger than you. Um, tell me more about the Knight of Wands. This is, this is the energy now around you. So um, it's either you are in this inconsistent, playful dating um, mode or the person. This is the world here. This could be communication or, um, via internet, um, internet dating. You have may maybe met someone, you are already talking to someone at a distance with the world. Tell me more about the Knight. Knight of Wands, tell me more about the Knight of Wands for Virgo. Oh, okay, we've got more here. Okay, I feel that um, the, the Three of Swords here and this um, Knight of Pentacles is pointing to the... I feel disappointment regarding this particular person that you have... You may be communicating via internet now in terms of long-term perspective perspective with this particular lover but what comes in the future is a completely different um, level of person I'm going to pull on that star but here I have disappointment in regards to uh, this could be also disappointment in regards to feeling hurt disappointed with the three of swords in regards to the pace of how things would um, progress with this uh, Knight of Wands um, that you might be talking over the internet now. But I would rather say that this is the energy of an inconsistent person. I wouldn't rely on the fact that this person can change. Um, what I see here, that in the position of the future comes something else. And the star is simply wish fulfillment. Okay, I have three of pentacles. Perhaps someone that you are going to meet through work. King of cups. And there we go. So we have strong water sign energy here. Um, three of pentacles. King of Cups and the Magician. This person is going to take this situation in their own hands. This is someone that is going to take 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 the leadership in this situation in terms of um, that future love. Okay. This is someone who is going to first contact you, first act you, ask you out, etc, etc. Expect that this is someone, um, strong Pisces as well, Aquarius, Scorpio, um, Taurus um, and Leo. Expect that this person is going to blow you away. Um, and just be careful as well, because this person will be heavily invested in, in, in you in that last situation. Um, I don't see manipulation, but I see this person being very, um, 
very much so focused on on making it happen with you um but remember this is the star this is your wish fulfillment virgo incredible i'm going to pull some oracles for you now so you're moving on from one thing or some of you are um talking in interested conversing more text call awaited message okay um i am feeling that this is something to do with this um the world and the internet connection that's internet dating currently with this person i think there's a lot of happening here but i'm i'm, I'm guessing that with this um three of swords this isn't gonna go anywhere but in the future with the star in the position of the future this is it this is a court card this king of cups um could be cancer scorpio pisces really strongly this is a court card that's a very good sign <laughs> you know um with aquarius in prominently in the chart this is you know in a reading where we ask a question are you going to meet someone am i going to meet someone to have a court card and as you see there is an age difference finally we have a king not a page not a knight one for virgo okay there are two i have never known a love like this i should hope so you have changed me okay there is something very specific for some of you um, here the wait is over beautiful I think if you are moving on or thinking about moving on from something this you know this is a little heads up there is something really beautiful ahead but first <laughs> some fun dating I think um, I want this one the moon the moon is you know intuition dreams also this is called the yearning desire but this is really strong Pisces energy but also emotions desire um, and picking up on um, the vibes of the other person it's it's uh, such a dreamy and um, you know, emotional energy. Um, try to remember your dreams because this is going into the future. You might be getting some, you know, downloads. Um, or because the energy is so strong, will be so strong, you might be getting some um, you know, energies, downloads about this person. We've got third house, second house, and fourth house. Okay, in astrology, the third house um, governs uh, communication. So uh, there is something very significant here about how we talk, um, how we communicate, a communicates communication style. Uh, language so perhaps there is something to do with you know um, literally also this could be someone uh, of a different background than you and therefore the communication will be significant because if there is a background difference language difference you know things can get lost in translation uh, second house in uh, um, astrology deals with money possessions value um, Material goods, work ethic, security, possessions. I would connect this with, um, it's likely that this is somehow a person that you're going to meet through work, through your profession, through your, um, you know, day-to-day -day work, your career, somehow. Um, fourth house. Fourth house in astrology deals with our home foundations family roots comfort feeling at home family values i feel um i 
I feel this is, you know, with the star. It's also Cancer here. We have Gemini and Taurus. I feel, you know, that this could go a long way. Um, and I'm not gonna um, shy away from saying that you could, guys, establish your own family home. Um, with this oracle here, Virgo. Um, thank you for your energy and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, that's all that I have for you today and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye for now.